We were looking for a way to keep a man tethered to the boat. Okay, we went through you know, kind of different things, putting a wire on the boat or some other kind of system. And when Peter mentioned this, we jumped at it. Well, the, the Sabine pilots were looking for a system uh, to tether the man, to, uh, a crew member or a pilot to the boat so that he could safely make his way to the bow or to the boarding platforms. And I was familiar with the Harkin uh, hardware through my sailing background. And we'd, we'd used uh, traditional uh, Genoa tracks and uh, traveler uh, tracks on other projects. But what attracted us about uh, attracted us to this system was the fact that we could make the tight radiuses, and it was uh, it was only, it really made it possible. More and more people for, are asking for safety rail systems on pilot boats, and it's uh, where what makes this system. Uh, unique and I think uh, especially for smaller boats like this it is capable of tight radiuses and we can if we design it in up front uh, it's very easy to install and incorporate into a design. I am Captain Andrew Guidry with the Sabine Pilots in uh, Groves, Texas. Yeah my name is Peter Duclo I'm president of Gliding Hard Shipbuilding and I've been with the company for about 30 years and this is our 85th pilot boat and our first pilot boat for the Sabine Pilots. The rail is designed to uh, tether a man to it when he's walking back and forth on the platforms because we use this boat to put pilots on and off ships and uh, it's sometimes very rough and one man at certain times has to let go with both hands so he needs to be tethered to the boat somehow when he turns loose. Yeah, you know, I'll walk and the deckhand will hook on because you know, I go climb up the side of the ship. He's there to, to help me pull the ladder, this, that, and the other. So he needs to be tethered at all times. An ideal situation would be where he doesn't know he's tethered at all. He can walk from port side all the way around to the starboard side. But we picked Gladding and Hearn because there's at least a dozen of these boats in the Gulf of Mexico being used right now. And that was the evidence right there, all we needed. You know, they're, they're proved boats. What we're sitting on is a uh, Gliding Hearn uh, Hunt Design Chesapeake class pilot boat. Uh, it's all aluminum, uh, 53 feet long, 17 feet wide, uh, top speed of about 26 knots, and made for all weather. <laughs>